What's up guys, my name is Ace, and a bunch of brand new movement mechanics are apparently coming to Modern Warfare 2. This is all coming from a leak from Ralph's Valve, so just keep that in mind while this is coming from a very reliable leaker in the community. At the end of the day, this is a leak, not official confirmation, and therefore don't take it as fact just yet. But diving right in, the first thing I noticed while skimming through these is it appears most of these are centered around Warzone. Even though the mechanics may exist in multiplayer and they may be usable in multiplayer, it's pretty clear that for many of them, they won't be all that useful in multiplayer, whereas in something like Warzone or maybe even that DMZ mode that's rumored, they're going to be much more useful in those environments. So with that in mind, let's talk about the first one, which is Ladders and Ropes, which are apparently field upgrades in Modern Warfare 2. And with the ladders, according to Ralph, you'll be able to vertically position the equipment alongside walls, containers, and buildings. Although if it's not supported in that particular area, the ladder will just fall and shatter and your field upgrade will be reset. As for ropes, it appears this is going to be a field upgrade as well. And with this, you'll be able to rappel down and scale up buildings with this tool. And apparently if you're repelling downward and there's a window, you can also swing through windows to sort of breach into a building. And then the most interesting thing with ropes here, which sounds hilarious, and I can't wait to try this out in Warzone, assuming these leaks are true, is you can apparently attach a rope to vehicles and players, which can allow for a quick getaway for down players. So if one of your teammates gets downed, it sounds like you can attach one end of the rope to your teammate, the other end to a vehicle, and you can just drag them out of that situation. And to me, that just makes me think of all the crazy clips and situations that are going to be happening. I wonder if you can attach it to like a helicopter as well and fly a down teammate out of there. Or can you also attach it to a downed enemy just to mess around and troll some people and make for a really funny moment? Can you grab one of their teammates and drag them away with a vehicle? The possibilities with this seem very exciting for something like Warzone, especially from a content creator's perspective, where creating funny moments like that is a big part of the job and it can make for some great entertainment. As for the next section of this article with new movement mechanics, we have a section called shifting and strafing. And with this, I'm just going to read it word for word because I'll admit I'm pretty confused by this. What he says in the article is strafing lets you move sideways in any direction as well as backwards. And then he says, say you get too close to a threat or you turn a corner where you're at a disadvantage, you can shift out of the area to clear some space and get a better view of your options and surroundings. So like I said, this is pretty confusing. I feel like this raises way more questions than answers. First off, with the strafing part, that sounds like any strafe. That doesn't sound like a new mechanic. It sounds like, yeah, you can strafe sideways or backwards. So I don't know what that's all about. And then when it comes to shifting, this does seem like perhaps a dash mechanic. The closest thing I can think of within the Call of Duty franchise, at least, would be from Advanced Warfare, where you could dash side to side. Although I would assume that it's not nearly as extreme or jarring because we don't have exosuits here. Instead, it would just be like a quick step to the side. And if that's the case, I'm definitely open to seeing what it's like, although it does make me a bit nervous depending on the speed of the animation and whether or not your hitbox is going to be tracking with that properly in an online environment and we aren't going to get even more crazy peaker advantage situations. Like I said, this particular section, it just raises more questions than answers, so we'll just have to wait and see how this ends up playing out. After that, we have a wall climb mechanic where players will be able to vertically clamber up walls and this feature is determined by the height of the platform you're trying to reach and mount. So this one seems to play in with the ledge hanging mechanic, which is confirmed. This was actually revealed to us in a media presentation. In Modern Warfare 2, you will have the ability to jump up and grab onto a ledge, and then you can slowly pull yourself over that ledge in order to evaluate the situation before fully committing to mounting up on top of that. So this just seems to be sort of an extension of that that really allows you to jump up a fairly tall wall, from the sounds of it, taller walls than we've ever been able to mantle up to, in order to grab that ledge. It is also worth noting with this ledge hanging, they did mention that you can use a pistol while doing this as well, kind of like what you can do on ladders in Modern Warfare 2019. As for sliding, apparently they've made some adjustments here. According to this leak, players will now be able to slide into a prone position if they choose. So you can do a standard slide if you want where you just get back up after the slide, or you can full on slide and commit and end up into a prone position. And then on top of that, the devs did confirm to us in that media presentation that we can dive as well. You'll have the choice to either slide or dive, and I'm not sure if this leak is just getting those confused where this slide into a prone position is actually more of a dive or if it's a completely separate mechanic. 
but it definitely seems like they've been working on the sliding mechanics a little bit because there's another section here in this leak that mentions you'll be able to slide down angled inclines and slopes. And obviously that's something that you can do as of now, as it's described there, of course you can slide down a slope, but from the sounds of it, it seems like they're gonna take an Apex Legends approach here where you can continue momentum on a slide down a slope. So if you start sliding down a slope, you're gonna be able to do that faster and for longer than you would be able to on a flat surface. And I'm definitely all for that. That's something I loved about Apex Legends. Now, additionally with sliding, we've got a little bit more information about this that wasn't in the article. In response to that article, iProSocial asked about slide canceling specifically and whether or not it's been taken out of the game for Modern Warfare 2. And Ralph replied to this saying, slide canceling hasn't been taken out. They just added to it where you can now also slide into a prone. So it looks like, at least according to Ralph's sources here, slide canceling will still be in Modern Warfare 2. Personally, I would like to see them tone it back a little bit. I get that it adds a skill gap, but I also feel like it makes for a very jarring situations. And I feel like in its current state, it's just a little bit overboard. When that's the best method of winning a gunfight, just sliding all over the place and sliding circles around people. First off, I think it looks a little bit ridiculous, but more importantly, I feel like especially in an online environment, when you have desync involved, it just creates a lot of really frustrating and jarring situations where you feel like there was nothing you could really do to counter that slide cancel against you. I'm all for a skill gap, but that skill gap should have counterplay to it as well. But moving on, let's talk a little bit about bunny hopping. Apparently with bunny hopping, it's dependent on the height that the player falls from, and the greater the height, the more speed boost you will gain into your bunny hop. And that sounds very strange to me. I don't know what to think about this really. I basically just want to see this for myself to see what it actually looks like and how that actually works. And with that, that wraps it up for the new movement mechanics section of this. However, there's some other gameplay features that he mentioned in this article that I wanted to touch on. The first one is Exigency Hipfire, also known as a quick sidearm draw, where instead of fully swapping away from your primary weapon and then pulling out your secondary, Instead, you are just drawing your sidearm with one hand while keeping the other on your primary, and with this, you can draw it much faster, but you are limited to hip fire, which could be great if you're running low on ammo or you run out of ammo completely and you just need to get that last bullet on target as fast as possible with your pistol. After that, there's apparently a suppressor meter where you can change the size of the suppressor on your gun, and depending on the size, it'll affect recoil, damage, and ranges. And this does seem to go along with at least part of the gunsmith that they shared for us in the media presentation, where at least with certain attachments, you will have sliders where you can adjust various elements of the individual attachments. Next up, something that I find to be quite interesting is you can choose the style of grip that your character will use when holding the gun. So not the actual grip attachment on your gun, but how you hold the gun. And with this, it can affect your accuracy as well as the speed of your weapon, which I assume just means aim down sight time. And just a couple examples provided, you could have a magwell grip, which I presume would give you a faster aim down sight time, but not as much accuracy. Or you could have a C-clamp grip, which would give you more accuracy, but presumably a slower aim down sight time. Now another mechanic is a magazine check, and this is for modes with limited heads up display, so hardcore, or if they bring back the realism mode, you'll be able to inspect your weapon's magazine count. Finally in this article, there was mention of a reticle ammunition count, where certain optics will actually display your ammo count within the optic itself. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for everything that was in this article from Ralph's Valve. And like I said at the beginning, for a lot of these mechanics, especially those movement mechanics at the beginning, they definitely seem much more geared toward Warzone. I hope they don't have a negative impact on the regular multiplayer experience, but I really do like the sounds of those for Warzone. And those are the types of innovations that I think could really push Warzone to the next level for Warzone 2. Now, one concern that I have with all of these new mechanics that they're implementing, whether that be movement mechanics or the mechanics like the quick sidearm draw, is I just wonder how all of this is going to play into the input. How are you going to map all these different mechanics onto a controller to where it feels intuitive and natural without getting in the way and accidentally performing one of these many mechanics when you meant to do a different thing? I'm sure this is something they're considering in development, and I hope to see a good controller mapping system for this, but I am slightly concerned that I'm gonna want my character to do one thing, but instead he does something completely different due to an overly complex control scheme for the amount of mechanics that we have at our fingertips. When it comes to that though, of course, time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see, and I'm excited to see how these mechanics end up playing out in game. 
And that is where I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What are you guys thinking about all of these various movement mechanics, as well as additional gameplay features that are apparently coming to Modern Warfare 2, as well as Warzone 2? Are there any of these that you really like the sounds of or dislike the sounds of? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.